please explain in detail about AP psychology. On such four theories as follows and exemplify each. 1. Piaget's theory of cognitive development. 2. Kohlberg's moral judgment. 3. Erickson's psychosocial development. And 4. Kubler-Ross's stages of death. 1. Piaget's theory of cognitive development. Piaget's theory of cognitive development consists of four stages that children go through as they develop from infancy to adulthood. The stages are a. Sensory motor, birth to two years. In this stage, children learn through their senses and motor activities. They develop schemas, which are mental frameworks for organizing information. Assimilation is the process of incorporating new information into existing schemas, while accommodation is the modification of schemas to fit new information. Object permanence is the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they cannot be seen or touched, which typically develops around 8 to 9 months of age. b. Preoperational, 2 to 7 years. In this stage, children begin using symbols, language, and mental imagery but still struggle with logical reasoning. Egocentrism refers to the inability to see the world from another person's perspective. Animism is the belief that inanimate objects have feelings and intentions, while artificialism is the belief that natural phenomena are created by humans. c. Concrete operational, 7 to 11 years. In this stage, children develop the ability to think logically about concrete objects and events. Reversibility refers to understanding that actions can be reversed or undone. Conservation problems involve recognizing that certain properties of objects remain the same despite changes in appearance. E.g., the amount of water in a container remains the same even if poured into a different shaped container. D. Formal operational, 11 years and beyond. In this stage, adolescents develop the ability to think abstractly and reason hypothetically. The personal fable is a belief in one's uniqueness and invulnerability, often leading to risk-taking behavior. 2. Kohlberg's Moral Judgment Kohlberg proposed a theory of moral development with three levels. a. Preconventional At this level, morality is based on external rewards and punishments. Children learn to categorize actions as good or bad, right or wrong based on consequences. b. Conventional At this level, individuals follow social rules and norms to gain approval from others. They are motivated by maintaining social order and fulfilling societal expectations. c. Post-conventional. At this level, individuals develop their own moral principles based on universal values, such as justice and human rights. They may sometimes prioritize these principles over societal norms. 3. Erickson's Psychosocial Development. Erickson's theory of psychosocial development includes eight stages, each marked by a conflict between opposing psychological forces. A. Trust versus mistrust, infancy. Infants develop trust if their basic needs are met consistently and responsibly by their caregivers. B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt, toddlerhood. Toddlers learn independence and self-control if allowed to explore and make choices within safe boundaries. C. Initiative versus guilt, preschool. Children develop initiative if encouraged to engage in new activities and make decisions, but may develop guilt if criticized or discouraged. d. Industry versus inferiority, school age. Children develop a sense of competence if they successfully master skills and tasks, but may feel inferior if they struggle or fail. e. Identity versus role confusion, adolescence. Adolescents search for their identity and sense of self, which may involve trying out different roles and values. f. Intimacy versus isolation, young adulthood. Young adults seek close relationships and commitments but may experience isolation if they struggle to form intimate connections. g. Generativity versus stagnation, middle adulthood. Adults contribute to future generations through work, family, or community involvement, but may feel stagnant if they do not find purpose in these activities. h. Ego integrity versus despair, late adulthood. Older adults reflect on their lives, seeking to find meaning and satisfaction. They may experience despair if they feel unfulfilled or regretful about past choices and missed opportunities. 4. Kubler-Ross's Stages of Death Kubler-Ross identified five stages that individuals may go through when facing death or significant loss. 1. Denial The initial stage, where individuals have difficulty accepting the reality of their situation. 
They may feel shocked or numb and may believe that there has been a mistake. 2. Anger. In this stage, individuals experience anger and resentment, often directed toward themselves, others, or a higher power. They may ask, why me? And struggle with feelings of injustice. 3. Bargaining. Individuals try to make deals with a higher power or fate in an attempt to postpone or lessen the impact of the loss. They may promise to change their behavior or dedicate themselves to a cause if their situation improves. 4. Depression. In this stage, individuals begin to confront the reality of their situation and experience sadness, grief, and despair. They may withdraw from others, lose interest in activities, and struggle with feelings of hopelessness. 5. Acceptance. The final stage, where individuals come to terms with their situation and find peace in understanding that it is a natural part of life. They may begin to make plans and preparations for the future, seeking to make the most of the time they have left. It is important to note that not everyone goes through all these stages or in the same order. The process of coping with death and loss is highly individual and can vary significantly based on personal experiences, culture, and beliefs.